Enemy cruiser sunk. Off to a great start. Hello everyone, Fresh Potato, back with another video. And we are back in the Soviet battle cruiser or a uh, super heavy cruiser, uh, the Kronstadt. <laughs> and here in this battle, we are going to push, push, push. And we are saying, get out of our way. We are coming through, through. We are like the juggernaut. We are just going to push through here into this flank. We don't care. We have no regards for human life, okay? <laughs> and as you can see, we have our first kill. We we just knocked out that uh, our enemy destroyer. I went ahead and popped that radar. Sorry I didn't get that recorded, that part recorded, but yeah, it was... It was a nice juicy hit using some uh, HE shells and we knocked the destroyer out of the game, leaving this side wide open for us. Me and my Flandre friend here and me and this Flandre, well, we don't we don't have we didn't we weren't using any headsets. OK, we were we, were, we weren't really using any uh, communication, you know, the comm wheel, but we were communicating using telepathy yeah <laughs> we were using telepathy sometimes you get it like that it feels like where your teammate okay is doing what you want them to do what you're thinking they should do and you're doing what they're thinking you should do it's just you're just I don't know we're it's it's like we're one okay we're one entity here in this battle okay <laughs> we are one and it's 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 a you like to you love to see it right you love to see it this battleship will push when I when I need them to push they'll stop when I need them to stop I will push when they need me to push it's just a perfect perfect situation here and yes it's all thanks to telepathy okay we're reading each other's minds we are communicating through telepathy <laughs> as as you can see we are in this Kronstadt, like I said, and the Kronstadt, well, it's a ship that gets a lot of heat, gets a lot of flack because of its accuracy, its dispersion, its inaccurate guns, and yes, I am not going to deny it. I know the the Kronstadt could be sometimes a very ac inaccurate ship as we line up the Republic looking for our second kill of the game. Are we going to get it? Yes, we will. That's our second kill of the game. We are only at 19,000 damage. But like I said, yes, I know the Kronstadt can sometimes be a very inaccurate ship. Yes, sometimes I feel like I can hit the broadside of SoFi Stadium, whose house, Ram's house, right? But hey, when the RNG is working for you, it is working for you. Well, you can sometimes get some nice big hits using the Kronstadt. Sometimes you can cause multiple fires with the AT, you know, and this is one of those games, I believe. As, like I said earlier, the telepathy, okay, I needed this battleship to push forward and to absorb some of this, you know, some of these uh, shells, and it did. And it also took out that Petro. You can see the carcass, and <laughs> as we still, as we continue to push, push and push. As we are going now, we're going to go ahead and line up this Janbar because it's doing what we want it to do, and that's show broadside. And the Kronstadt's AP is not something to uh, ignore as we take a big chunk out of him, bringing us to well, still only twenty-nine thousand damage. But hey, this is an exciting uh, little uh, altercation here <laughs> as we take another shot at the Janbar giving us our third kill of the game. And we are now at 32,000 damage. And here goes the Kaga. And the Kaga, well, <laughs> the Kaga, if they only knew, you are playing against two players that are using telepathy at the moment. <laughs> That's, you don't want to, you don't want no, no parts of that, okay? When you're playing against two players that are thinking the same, you might want to run away, okay? <laughs> so here, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna line up that Kaga. We're gonna go ahead and look away because we're cool. And we're gonna go ahead and get our fourth kill of the game, bringing us to 70,000 damage as we take that big hit from the Iowa. And that Iowa, well, 
you done messed up now, buddy. <laughs> it was at this moment he knew. <laughs> so now we're gonna we're gonna adjust our angle here. And the Kronstadt has pretty good armor. And the Iowa, well, you don't want to be selling broadside in an Iowa to anybody. Iowa's broadside is pretty juicy, even though we get barely anything there. <laughs> That's okay. That is okay. We are in the Kronstadt, and the RNG is working for us in this battle. As we take the superstructure shot, and we are going to... Wow. <laughs> Get a citadel? Uh, huh? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> but we will take it, and we're going to line up this next shot. And can we get our early kraken all already? Can we do this already? Really? No. 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 <laughs> it, we we are what? Uh, some odd minutes into this game, I already have four kills. Can we get the kraken? Can we get this kraken already? Yes, we can. We got the Kraken unleashed. <laughs> With three more battles in the game. And I'm trying to say that's how it's done. But now, <laughs> don't you hate when that happens? Man. <laughs> but here, here goes the Aegir. And the Aegir, well, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm doll juiced up right now. I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's uh, some kind of performance enhancing drug, <laughs> or it's the telepathy like I said, or it's just just aggressive, aggressive push that we're doing. And here I'm going to go ahead and say, okay, it's time for some front gun action. I'm not going to I'm not going to give this guy any broadside here because I think I'm beginning to feel that there's a six pack, okay, <laughs> in the horizon for me and my uh telepathy buddy here <laughs> as we line up another shot on the a gear and we know what the a gear is trying to do showing us broadside to use those torps so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and slow it down and turn in and there goes those torps we psyched and juked him out and we did not get the six pack oh, but Hegel's <laughs> Hegel's the Bismarck <laughs> and we are what? Oh, we are at 125,000 damage. We are times four on our epic mod. Our reload is pretty quick. It is uh, boosted here with our epic mod. As we try to line up shots on this Bismarck's guns. And uh, yeah, Bismarck angled. You're not going to do much to the Bismarck when it's angled. So we got. We have to be patient here and we have to... Uh, Take the, take the good shots here. Take those superstructure shots. We switch to HE, trying to start some fires. We get one fire there burning. And uh, yeah, <laughs> we're gonna try to take maybe one more HE shot and then switch back to AP. Let's see if we do that. Take the superstructure shot with our HE. Well, we, we didn't really do nothing there. And we're gonna, I guess we're gonna take another shot here. But yeah, we are angled. We don't wanna die. And yeah, look at that. Whoa. Luckily, we're angled. We're bouncing some of those shells. And I accidentally popped my radar here. This was not supposed to happen. And I was trying to pop my heel. But these buttons sometimes are all mangled up. Okay. And I accidentally pressed my, my uh, radar. And that's going to come back to bite us. But here, we got our a AP loaded. We take the big shot. We got our Confederate medal. We are at 143,000 damage and ticking because of the fires, and I can taste it. Okay, <laughs> I want my ice cold brew right here. Give me my brew. We get the six pack. We are now at 151,000 damage, and our epic mod is now at the max. We are feeling good, but we are not in the lead. Okay, we're not in the lead. Yeah, <laughs> now it's a game of cat and mouse. We, all three of us, we need a search for this cruiser. I mean, for this destroyer. And uh, yeah, this is where the concealment of a destroyer, well, <sighs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. But we're, we're not going to give up here. We're all searching for it, looking for this this destroyer. <laughs> we're all looking and looking. You know, we're like a like three people looking for someone's phone. <laughs> okay. Ah, I lost my phone. Help me look for it. 
Now here we go, you know, a bunch of chickens with its heads cut off, or we're on this giant, uh, what do you call that, wild goose chase, you know, looking like a... <laughs> A bunch of clowns here looking <laughs> looking for this destroyer a needle in a in the hay sack you know <laughs> and uh, yeah yeah <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and sell into this cap and see if we can get this uh, get some XP from this cap and our telepathy buddy well they're on the B B cap and I know what they're thinking they know what I'm thinking because again yes we are one we are one <laughs> in my head really i'm like oh my god please don't die well you know what yeah sail that way maybe you can you know get a get a spot on that destroyer so we can uh we can all light them up and uh come away with this clutch victory and because it, it there's not enough time to flip any points we need this kill okay and that destroyer needs to survive this is all situational and uh, situational awareness, clock and points awareness on all of our all parts here. That destroyer is going to try to stay hidden, possibly run away. And we are here, like I said, like a bunch of zombies looking for meat. Mm, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> well, enough about meat. We need to focus on the objective here, and that's finding that uh, that destroyer. Maybe we can get our seventh kill. Wouldn't that be... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> As my telepathy friend has been sent straight to the Shadow Realm. Thanks to the Destroyer. And now I'm upset. I'm shooting shots <laughs> in, uh, in anger. How dare you take my, uh, <laughs> my friend away. You know, my unknown friend. But we're, we're trying to roll the dice here, and, you know, it's less than 20 seconds here. We need to spot this guy now, and yes, this is where that mistake, you know, bite us. Popping my radar when I shouldn't have, mistaking it for my repair party. Not good. But we don't get the win, but uh, still a great performance on my part and my friend's part. We did what we could, but unfortunately, no, no dice. <laughs> we didn't get the win. But uh, yeah, we, ah, I finished top of the leaderboard on a losing team. And look, over 2,000 base XP, not bad for me and my uh, my telepathy friend, the Flandre. <laughs> you know, that's not bad on a losing team. I would have probably ended up with over 4,000 base XP, maybe, if we would have gotten the win. Uh, we got our six pack. We got our 151,000 damage, and we got the first blood medal, Confederate medal, Dreadnought medal, the high caliber, and of course, we got the Kraken unleashed. Thanks for watching. Enemy cruiser sunk.